you about Notebook LM. I was blown away by this product. So what I wanted to explore first is I have an upcoming professional development presentation that I'm doing. So I uploaded that document here on the left hand side. Now this is really, really neat, especially in a social studies or a STEM world where you are synthesizing multiple resources or doing research, you can upload sources here. Now when you upload sources, you can use docs from your uh, Google Drive. You can also paste in links for websites or even YouTube videos. So. When it comes to synthesizing research, this tool has, I am so excited, it has so many different possibilities. Now, after I uploaded that resource, and again, I wanted to start with a single resource just to explore what this tool is capable of. It created this chat for me, which I, it, it prompts me with questions or I can add questions or add thoughts here. I can also add some sort of audio uh, as well. So I can talk into my, in my tool, you know, talking about the resources or the research that I'm doing, or I can use the questions here. And this is really interesting because again, it keeps asking multiple questions. And, and so that's gonna produce some very fast information using Google Gemini. Again, when using AI tools, you wanna to go back and reassess and make sure that you're critically thinking about the resources that it's gathering and the information that it is providing. But it's just really fascinating that how quickly that, that happens and the types of information that I was gathering. And noticing these questions, this, is, this information is pulling straight from my presentation. So Walk the Plank on YouTube is a strategy that I use with my students on, on introductions. It's talking about the tools that I'm directly referencing here. So that's pretty amazing. Now, as I go over on the right-hand side here, I've got a couple of different options. Now, I can create an FAQ from my resource. So this is really cool because this would be really, really helpful if I was producing a, a, a handout for my colleagues while I was presenting. So it's already creating and saving me some time in terms of organizing my thoughts. Again, would I customize this? Absolutely. Would I reflect on the information that it pulled? For sure. But it's, again, just a really great start, and it's surprisingly really accurate on what I was talking about in my presentation, especially breaking down the SAMR model and looking at different ways to use technology in the classroom. Now, as I go back to the studio here, I also it also created a briefing doc which highlighted the themes, which was really helpful for me as a presenter to be able to analyze the types of information that I'm giving and it really gave me a good idea of am I emphasizing or am I focusing on the things that I want to focus on? So is the presentation truly meeting my goals, at least from in an AI analytical way. And so it was really, really cool that they they outlined my presentation and, and really highlighted the slides that I was hitting this information in. And so interesting that they reference specific slides. So again, uh, so wild and so such a helpful tool. And then the final line, one is it creates a study guide. So if I was doing a presentation for my students, on a certain topic that I'm teaching them information on. This study guide was really, really fascinating. It gives me essay questions, it gives me vocabulary words. I could see this being a really powerful resource that teachers could adapt and tweak and change for their students um, to help them learn the material that they are teaching. Now, this is in beta. I'm gonna load this. This took a few minutes to load, but it created a 31 minute podcast from with two different voices from the information that I provided in my presentation. Now at times that podcast repeated the same idea, so it was by no means perfect, but listening to it, it sounded authentic. And so for our auditory listeners, it was really, really a powerful way for me to take my source, chat about it, get information about it, develop some, some resources that I could use with students, and then I could listen to all of that information being synthesized. So I am so excited for the possibilities for a notebook out. Um, I think it's a really, really great way to, to synthesize research, 
resources to gather information, to provide summaries and scaffolded uh, supports for our students. So here is that. All right, so we're diving into this presentation called Empower Students Everywhere, Tools for Engagement in the College Classroom. Let's take a listen. And with spring semester coming up, it seems like you're all set to like really focus on student engagement and collaboration. Yeah, definitely. And I think what's cool about this presentation is that it comes from like a unique perspective. You okay. know, it was actually created by Josh Sukow, who is a college. So going on to that, and they actually introduced my husband and I collaborated on this um, slide deck. So it is wild. You can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. In beta mode, I can also... I can also use my own voice and I can talk to them. I can hit join and this took a while to do. So it's it's definitely in beta and it's definitely not perfected. But earlier I was able to ask it a question and they were able to respond to me and they said, Steph, thanks for tuning in. And so it really felt authentic. And so that's definitely something I would check out. You can download it and then you could share it on your LMS with your students if this, this was something you wanted them to listen to. So check it out and let me know how you are playing with this tool.